Welcome back to CP's Garage, where today I am going to go through the updated version of 4Scan Lite on a phone that does not have 4Scan on it, so you guys can see how to actually do Since it. Since these sanctions on Russia has uh, caused 4Scan to no longer be in the App Store or the Apple Store. So, let's start this out. Alright, so we'll start by going to 4Scan.org. This is the homepage, tells you about the features, what OBD2 adapters you should be using, um, some important notices, what networks that this thing works on, and everything. But at the top, you'll go to products, and you'll look for either iOS for Apple or for Android. So what you need to do is go and get the independent version. So click on it. You'll hit download. Download. Now we'll wait for the download. Now if you had Forescan through the App Store, you would update it by clicking on the Google Play version. Or if you had it through the App Store and you reset your phone, you could get it through that Google Play version. Alright, so now that we're downloaded, click on the file, we'll install the file. it. Now we have to activate our license. To do that, you click on activation code. And then you'll go by applicant by code. Then you go through, put your billing address and everything in it. Then you can either use PayPal or a Visa card. I recommend PayPal. My opinion. Put your, put your email in for PayPal, which I'll do off screen. Then hit submit order. Your, uh, then you'll go through PayPal and pay for your order. It's only seven bucks too, so it's not too bad. It'll show your order status. You can see your invoice. Then it'll show you the download for the independent thing, which you don't need to do. Then it'll show you the new activation code. Once your activation code is ready, put it in. Hit done. Hit OK. And now you have 4Scan Lite on your phone. Just remember, 4Scan Lite is not really used to do changes like the Windows version is. Fortunately, it's not safe really to do it either with 4Scan Lite. But you still have other functions. You have service functions and tests and graphs, data logger, vehicle information. Let's see if we can get this thing to connect to the car. You need to go to settings, Bluetooth adapter. I think that's the one. Close, go back. Let's see if that one's the one or not. Gotta make sure the adapter's on high speed can, and it is. Okay, so that's not the adapter. Next one. one of these adapters. I have three of them. Hey, 
look at that it's the last one go figure right these old these old adapters are not recommended to use anymore but they still work for me so I have dinosaur vehicles so it's not that big of a deal the newer stuff is where it really comes in so as you can see it found the Mariner it's loading all the information no code so far to switch the switch the switch has been switched and now we're fully in as you can see by the green little car in the corner so we got some self tests got OBD mode 6 data monitor status self tests service functions transmission reset PCM resets four-wheel drive resets look at that we can do ABS service bleed the big one the rebalance but yeah this is the new version without going through the Apple Store or Android play Google Play Store I figured I'd put this out since my original four scan light video was a big hit and I was getting questions about this so I figured I'd do this again for you guys and uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe and share this video if you want any more four scan videos please let me know see you guys